Hey, it's Shelly from Best Buy Canada's blog. I've been testing out the Cuisinart Vertical Waffle Maker. Cuisinart Vertical Waffle Maker is an upright waffle maker. It's about 12 inches high. It has a browning dial so you can adjust how dark you'd like your waffle to be. It comes with a batter scoop and you use that scoop to pour batter into the top of the appliance. The waffle maker opens and closes with the side latch so you just pull the side latch to open it and you clamp it closed. It completely seals the appliance together so you never have any overflow or spilled batter. Here's a look at the top of the appliance. So this is where you pour the batter and it just seeps through into the waffle maker. There are also two lights on the front of the appliance. The red light indicates that the device is warming up or that your waffle is baking and the green light means that the appliance is ready to use or that your waffle is done. There's also a audible beep when the waffle is finished. To test out the vertical waffle maker, I made some waffles. I did make the batter slightly runnier according to the recipe in the instruction book. So I made those waffles. I usually add chocolate chips. Um, I didn't do that until the end this time just because I was kind of trying to see how it would work. So I set the dial to 5 um, for most of my waffles. We like to have the waffles uh, fairly dark and crispy if possible, so four or five seem to be the best browning level for that. The only learning curve with this waffle maker is how much batter to use. So I started with not quite a full scoop of batter and I poured it in. And so the first waffle I made with that scoop of batter, um, I was just kind of trying to see how it would work. And when I did pour it in, it seemed like it was full, so I didn't add any more. Then all that was left to do was wait for the appliance to emit a beep and show me the green light and then I was ready to open it up. I highly recommend that you don't open it up until the green light is on because you could end up with mushy waffle all over your counter. So here's a look at what one scoop, and obviously it wasn't a level scoop, but that scoop gave me half a waffle. So I tried again and this time I added more batter to the waffle maker. I added a full level scoop this time and then I also added another half scoop. I did wait until I could see that the batter had disappeared down into the waffle maker before I added more, um, but it didn't seem like it was overflowing at all with the extra half a scoop that I added. Unlike other waffle makers, when I've been playing around with how much to add, this one never overflows. So I didn't have any mess on my counter and I didn't have any of that excess bubbly batter pouring everywhere. The indicator light was green. I opened up the waffle maker and take a look at my perfect waffle. My son doesn't like his waffle to be overly crispy, so this was done on browning level three. You'll need a plastic utensil of some sort to remove the waffle because that waffle iron is obviously very hot. Notice that there is a batter spout impression at the top of the waffle. You can remove that if you'd like to use it for a sandwich or what have you, but my kids really liked it actually when I started adding chocolate chips to the batter. That's the one spot where they would find the most chocolate chips. I made breakfast for 10 people this past weekend and I used this waffle maker and it made the entire process really quick and easy. I had a lineup of kids waiting for the next waffle and I think I was finished with breakfast in under 45 minutes. You can use the Cuisinart Vertical Waffle Maker for sweet waffles, savory waffles. Depending on how you turn the dial from 1 to 5, your waffle will be soft enough to fold or crispy enough to hold a pile of fruit and whipped cream. When it's time to clean the appliance, all you have to do is unplug it, let it cool off, and then just wipe the excess bits away. This is the cleanest, easiest way I've ever made waffles. There was no mess on my counter, and I had a really fun time using this appliance. If you'd like to see my full review of the Cuisinart Vertical Waffle Maker, head on over to Best Buy Canada's blog. Thanks for watching. Uh -huh.